finally here, everybody. I finally got to watch the amazing Godzilla Mattis one. And let's get to the story of this film first. So I apologize, guys, if I say the name wrong of this character. But we follow the main characters, Koichi, who was a soldier during this. This is based post-war um, in Japan. So this takes place post-war in the 1940s. So we follow this soldier and he had his first encounter with Godzilla. And kind of a little traumatized from that, you know, having nightmares about it because, you know, he didn't act towards Godzilla and got his fellow soldiers killed. So what happens after that encounter and post-war, after all that happened, he returns home in a war-torn um, country, I guess Japan, of Japan. He returns home, ends up running into a woman and child, and he you know ends up taking them in, helping them raise their child, and that's like years later, the kid is older now, and then he's... Uh, he wants to make more ends meet to help, you know, raise her kid and, and help her out as well. He gets a, he gets a job, and what ha what happens is, uh, while he's in job, they encounter yet again Godzilla emerges, but this time he's an even more massive, massive threat in this film. So that's basically what this film's about: having to deal with Godzilla and how they can defeat this monster. After watching this, I. Definitely understand why people are praising this film. This movie right here is a different iteration of Godzilla, and I really love it. I love the acting in this film. You are invested with these characters. You root for these characters as well, and that's what I've been doing throughout this whole film. The story of it is emotional. A lot of emotional parts. I've never thought in, to this day I've ever seen an emotional Godzilla film that would probably give you a little tearjerker here and there. Um, some particular scenes the drama is well done this is more seriousness in this film as well but everything about this movie guys is amazing especially man not only just the care human characters but godzilla <laughs> the godzilla parts when i say it will keep you at the edge of your seat this godzilla is more he's more aggressive more scarier in this film and i've never seen unless i've forgotten in the past of the godzilla films i've never seen this version of godzilla where he has different abilities and you'll see what i mean when you watch this film i like these abilities it's like a feel of hopelessness of how they can kill this monster but yeah man oh man when they get to him when he gets to godzilla you just when you get when he gets on the screen you're like what is this monster going to do next? I mean, what's going to happen? And when they introduce his atomic breath in this movie, it's totally different than what we've seen in other movies because the atomic breath in this movie is more terrifying. And what it does, man, you shall see <laughs> when you watch this movie. But yeah, I would say this Godzilla, and as much as I love the MonsterVerse, I would say this has got to be my favorite iteration of Godzilla. And it definitely has a very satisfying in ending but also there is a cliffhanger one i didn't quite understand i'm gonna need some po some people to ex explain it to me because it had a little bit of twist ending to it but also it has another ending that was definitely i would say is set up for another film in this movie and i am there for it i am happy about it because i love love this movie this probably is my favorite um, godzilla movie but like i said i still want to see the monsterverse films still enjoying those but this right here i want to see more of as well and toho did amazing job to me loving the human characters the dialogue was awesome and i did watch this in dub i, I would watch the japanese um language as well but i just feel like, didn't feel like watching these subtitles yet so i did watch the dub of this so netflix has it they don't have the if you want to watch the black and white version you have to actually purchase it i didn't see it on netflix i did watch this on netflix but yeah if you want to purchase the watch this on black and white you had to go to amazon to check it out and i cannot wait for this movie to come out on physical media to add to my collection because i'm going to watch this multiple multiple times this is an amazing film guys it is a freaking masterpiece you have got to watch this film 10 out of 10 for me masterpiece highly highly recommend this movie please check this movie out if you can asap